hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you are welcome if you're a returnee thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and um, in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys how i did my own makeup it's been ages i did makeup on myself and i was so scared about you know doing the makeup today like doing the makeup on myself today but thank god it came out really beautiful and i really love how it turned out and i decided to share with you guys so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and if you want to see how i transform from this to this then you should keep on watching <laughs> so um moisturizing my face first i cleanse it with um, micellar water and the next thing to do is moisturize and after moisturizing my skin i use this omari code hydrating primer on my face i let that dry down first and i applied the Rimmel, um stay matte primer on my t-zone the mouth area like you see me doing the video right now so i let that sit you know dry down first before i start applying my foundation for my lip i use the vaseline lip uh, moisturizer and for the setting powder i'm using now because i, I applied setting powder on my face before i apply my foundation this one is from brack in the shade cinnamon For foundation, I use this NARS foundation in the shade Macau. Before blending the foundation, I went ahead to spray my brush with this certain spray from Nubam Beauty and I started blending the foundation. So I'm just, you know, in a circular motion. Then when I get to the edges, I'll just drag down. That's just basically how I blend my foundation and after that i went to finish it up using a beauty um blender after blending in my foundation i went ahead to um brighten my under i use these concealers the first one that's the brightest one there is from huda beauty the second one which i'm using right now is from younger beauty and the one the darkest one that's close to my shade is from nuban beauty so i'm using this um Nuba beauty on the outer corner the younger in the middle and the brightest one in the corner as you see me do right here so i went ahead to spray the whole of my face using nubum beauty setting spray and i allowed that sit for a while before i start blending and this is how i blend my concealer i like to blend from the outer corner first before i walk my way in if that makes sense so let me allow you watch Okay, if you notice, I'm just pressing in the concealer like with the beauty blender. I'm just not dragging it because I want it to be there. Do you understand me? It's only when I get to the corners, I just you know drag a little bit like I do with my foundation. So I just press, 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 press down, you know, walk my way back and forth. You know, then for anywhere I think there is harsh line, I drag a little bit, you know, just to get rid of the line, if that makes sense. So after blending my concealer, I went ahead to contour my face using this um, concealer from Zikel. I think this one is Zikel Cafe, the, the shade that I'm using. I, I honestly didn't want to go too crazy about the contour. That's why I decided to use this shade. And I always spray my um, brush these days, you know, before I blend any cream product I'm applying on my face this really helps a lot like setting your brushes setting your your face whenever you apply any product makes a difference that like, this has been a game changer 
make sure you watch this video till the end because i have so many tips and tricks that will help elevate your makeup game i also took some of the concealer and uh, applied that on you know the corner of my nose just you know contour a little bit uh, not too much and um uh, yeah i was done with the nose nose contour is something that i honestly don't you know enjoy doing you know lately but we have to do it so after blending 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 i honestly went ahead with my beauty blender to further blend but i don't think i showed that in this video For blush, you guys know, if you follow me, you know that I love blush a lot. So I'm using this one from TM Essential. Um, this blush is really nice, uh, but I wasn't feeling it. So I went ahead, guys, I went ahead to take another uh, product, you know, to, you know, further intense the blush. And the, the one I use is from the... I magic palette this color right there i just apply a tiny bit because a little goes a long way just apply a tiny bit of it and i just you know blend that in and now i am feeling it you know but if you're not going for something crazy like this you can just stick with just the tm essential blush that i use it's really amazing and you will love it i'm just you know a lover of blush so after applying the blush i went ahead to reblend under my eye before setting it and the setting powder that i use is from merak i have missed using ginger like so if you have used any of merak um, setting powder you should know why am i i'm excited so you can see how that is blending in like so smoothly soft you know it's very easy to blend so um i basically set every area that i um highlighted like i use concealer i set everywhere and after that i went ahead you guys i went ahead to take another um set of powder uh, from mirac this one is in cinnamon and I use that to set the whole of my face. See, before you apply powder, mm, try and do this. Like, set the whole of your face with certain powder. See, you will love it. Like, I used to do it, you know, before. But I honestly did not really notice, you know, the difference like it makes. So, um, just, just try it. You like it. So, you set your face with a certain powder that is close to your shade before you start um applying uh, your regular um finishing powder or face powder it makes a huge difference so yeah so for contour i went ahead to use this uh, powder from mac this, this one is dark deep so i went ahead to use that to set my contour like i said i was not going for crazy you know contour so i really wanted something subtle and that's the reason i use this powder i'm so proud of myself no longer doing all those heavy contour but if need be i'll do it because sometimes you know crazy is the norm <laughs> so after using that to you know warm up my face i went ahead to use a color that is uh, like two shades darker than me this one this powder is from cover girl you can see i think it's in the shade ebony for oh, 400 something like that so i went i used that to contour my um nose and for nose contour like i said i like i'm no longer feeling these nose contours of a thing you know i just reluctantly do it <laughs> so after that i went ahead to apply some powder underneath my eyes you know this one is the milani powder in the shade 108 it's, it's really bright so i took a tiny bit of that you know just using that to like buff out the setting powder that was underneath my you know under my eyes and yeah that's it for my blush i took this shade right here 
to set my blush and like i said i am a blush lover i went ahead again to take another shade from that palette you know so like i said every step you um set your face with a certain spray like that's how you achieve that long lasting makeup and a flawless look at the same time you know so after applying the blush i went ahead to spray my face again yes i know plenty spray spray yes spray my face again and you let that sit before you touch the face like dry it out dry that down i couldn't find my fan no? that's why i'm using eyelash pack so <laughs> So I am doing reverse contour right here with that same Mirac setting powder in the shade Ginger. Doing the reverse contour on my nose and applied some setting powder underneath my eyes to catch any fallout that um when it, um to catch any fallout when I'm about to do <laughs> English to catch any fallout when I'm about to do my um eyeshadow i went ahead to use that same cinnamon powder that i used to set the whole of my face and uh, do a reverse contour as well on my cheeks yeah so before this is what i do i go i, I go straight to doing this reverse contour without setting my foundation like I, when i want to um buff it out like you know take out the powder it looks crazy so guys that's another tip <laughs> so this thing was just stressing me but anyway this is what i have been using for my brows and for brows i'm going to link um a video you know down this video in the description bar for you guys to watch how i do my brows and this brow pomade i use in this video is from esther and Haga in the shade toffee you know so i'm going to link a video of how i do my eyebrows in in the description box so you can go and watch this one i honestly did not show to go into detail so sorry about that so if you really want to see how i do my video uh, sorry my brows i will link a video so this is basically me cleaning my eyebrows you know regular and i always take my time these days <laughs> to do my eyebrows because my eyebrows they are just funny and if i don't take my time to do the brows it will look funny obviously in the video or pictures so yeah so i was done with the eyebrow and um, clean them up and over to eyeshadow so for eyeshadow i honestly did not know what i was going for honestly but here i'm applying eyeshadow primer and i went ahead to use this anastasia hey, hey. anastasia jesus christ and I use those shades right there. I just pointed now. Hey, I need to pronounce this thing right. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yes. Ah, this being a stutter is 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 difficult pronouncing stuff. To be honest. So yeah, I'm using those two shades. I'm applying the light pink, the one that is lighter among the two. <laughs> I apply that first. Then I went ahead with the other uh pink the darker one just apply i apply that on top of the the lightest the light one so i'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow um just pop that into my crease i'll blend that like into like to from the outer to the inner like i just want to give the eyeshadow like a dimension like let it just not be there like that you know so i just popped that in i did the same on the other eye you know and after that i here i was just not feeling what i was doing but you know trust the process so after that i went ahead to take another shade of eyeshadow and this one is just for me to blend the brown i just applied now but here i took the color the blush color and you know blend that you know slightly you know dragging it out you know getting rid of the harsh lines and um yeah oh voiceover is not easy at all you know 
so i went ahead to take that color right there the black and you know to further you know deepen the outer corner of my eyes yeah and trying to drag it out you know to give it that wink you know that cat eye look Whew. i'm tired okay watch me just watch yes what i just did that now and i dragged some of that black down you know under the eyes you no know, smudge the waterline area you know to give it that smoky look you know honestly i did not apply too much black under the eye because i didn't want to be i didn't want it to be too dark because of the colors i want to apply on my waterline so here is a new mirac pencil colored pencil and these colors are so vibrant guys did you see that like i was contemplating which to use is it the blue or the green but i just said to go for the green tomorrow we'll use blue <laughs> so honestly it's creamy like and it's not it doesn't transfer like i don't know how to explain it sharp but this is really nice it stays where you apply it if that makes sense like stays there hmm this green is beautiful like i, I think i would love the blue more so watch me watch the space <laughs> Okay, for my liner and my mascara, I use these babies from Nuban Beauty. And uh, I just uh, apply the mascara. I use the liner off camera. And now I'm applying the mascara on my lashes, you know, to take out the excess uh, eyeshadow on top of my lashes before I apply the forces. So now I am basically taking this powder off. And look at how easy it is to before i would struggle to blend it but now this new tip is helping like so yeah the face is looking somehow it's ashy so we'll spray it so i'll be right back yeah i'm back i went ahead to spray my face use some highlighter and the highlighter that i use is from younger beauty this one is is it O'Shea? yes this one is from younger beauty and for extra glow, I use this balm from Danessa Marix Beauty. And for my lipstick, I use the Eye Magic Lip Stain. And for my gloss, I use this one from 89 Cosmetics. And to apply that gloss, I use this <laughs> one from Zaron to apply. It's empty, so I like to use the applicator. So, guys, I just love how this look came out, like turned out. If you see how I filmed this video, you will know that I tried, you know, I filmed it in a very tight corner. But yeah, I just, I did it for you guys, you know, I love you guys so much and so much and, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so for my bottom lashes, I used the Sorosuke mascara from Nuban Beauty. Like, I did not, see, I did not go crazy with the mascara. This is a lengthening mascara. Because I, do, I just don't want to stain under my eye. Like this is very, very beautiful. If you know me, you guys know that when I'm done with my makeup, I always go back to touching the makeup. So this is me here warming my face up with that same MAC powder that I used earlier on to, you know, set my contour. I'm just warming up the face. And after that, I went ahead to apply setting powder around the nose in the, in the corner of my nose this will help your makeup in that area stay longer you know if you have that problem of your makeup always you know wearing off from the corner of the nose this one will really help you a lot but, but please don't add too much and after that i went ahead to just buff that out with a bigger brush and also pressing that in you know for finishing spray i'm using this from so pro the seal it please after spraying this on your face make sure you use a beauty blender to press that in it will give you a better finishing i promise you guys so here is the finish look like i really love this makeup i was just in the mirror just staring at myself like all day and we have to make some badass videos for the gram make makeup no waste <laughs> do let me know what you think about this in the comment section don't forget to like and share my videos until i see you in my next one bye bye for now